Good morning guys and welcome to my vlog where I'll be taking you guys along with me on my interview trail. So I've gone through quite a few interviews now and I'm kind of on the tail end of it. So I thought I'd pick up the camera and show you guys what an interview looks like. So right now it's December, Christmas is coming up, Shaman and Beneath are going to be heading over. We have so many videos planned and I also will be going over what I'm applying for in residency and why I chose it, etc, cetera, etc cetera, in a video coming up. So I've been lucky enough on this entire interview trail to have saved a lot of money by staying with people I know and right now I'm at a beautiful location here. Let me show you guys. Beautiful view, beautiful statue in the back here. Basically been enjoying myself on the interview trail. The way I kind of structured it is I did all my Northern California interviews. I was lucky enough to kind of group them together. And then all my Southern California ones I grouped within this kind of two week stay. So kind of just knocking these out in chunks and then I have an East Coast run coming up in January. So what I've been doing is kind of coming back to my home base here, going out and interviewing, come back to my home base because this location I'm at right now, is kind of in the middle of SoCal. Um, where I can kind of access all these different hospitals from just this location. Driving here through SoCal traffic, I'm not used to it. It's horrible. I don't know how people do it that live here. There's no public transportation. Uh, everyone's just fine just sitting in their car for three, four hours, which is shocking to me. But yeah, I look like a mess right now. We just woke up. I'm actually gonna be traveling to the hotel right now that I'm gonna be staying at, because usually there's a dinner. I usually stay at a hotel, do the interview and come back, because then that would be a little too much driving. So we have about a two and a half hour drive to the beautiful city of San Diego for this interview and uh, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a fun one. It's a beautiful day outside and we're gonna be stuck in a car but then after that we get to go to a little dinner where I don't know if I'm gonna take you guys into the actual dinner because that would be weird but uh, overall you will get a feel for what the interview process is like for residency so let's go. Okay we look like a bum but we're ready to head out and we will change when we get to the hotel over there because I want to drive comfortably. So we're five minutes into our trip and we're gonna make our first very essential necessary pit stop. Like I said, very essential. something to eat because I cannot drive anymore. It's been two hours. I think the drive's supposed to be two and a half with a little bit of traffic, three hours. So GPS says we have an hour to go. Um, so let's get a little bit of food. I stopped by here. Debating whether we're gonna get Chipotle. There was an in and out back there, but like I'm kind of sick of in and out right now, unfortunately. Um, and no Chick-fil-A on the way I checked. So that's, that's unfortunate as well. Um, I might get Panda Express. I'm, I'm kind of craving some orange chicken. Um, Basically nothing fancy. It's a choice between all the junk food, okay? So <laughs> I think we're gonna go with Panda. I don't know exactly where we stopped, but it is a beautiful day. A nice little quiet area. Something about that place smelled, I don't know what it was. It smelled like, I don't know, like nothing had been cleaned for a long time, but food looks okay though. So we're finally here. Nice quaint little setup here. Gotta do a bed bug check, considering the last time I was in a hotel, I actually found bed bugs. So the place I'm staying at right now is really close to the UC San Diego undergraduate campus. And there's a dinner tonight. But yeah, I'll be going there in a couple hours, so I gotta freshen up. I look like a mess right now, I still look like I just woke up. So after dinner, I'm just gonna knock out, go to bed, and then tomorrow do my last interview, and then go home. And I'm so excited to go home. Christmas time is coming up. It's my favorite time of year. So you guys are gonna see a lot more of us coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe. And just like that, folks, we are ready to go to this dinner. I gotta, I gotta do my hair though. Still looks like I just woke up. I just got out of the shower. But once I do my hair, we are gonna be ready to go and we're gonna do this dinner. It starts at 6.30. Uh, it's like 10, 15 minutes away from this hotel. Um, 
But yeah, should be interesting. These things usually end up being more anxiety inducing for me than the actual interview because that's kind of more structured. This is more free for all. You're kind of just showing up, hanging out, um, and you don't know how it's going to go. With a good group of people, it ends up being really fun and I actually really do enjoy these dinners, but uh, sometimes it can just be really awkward. I've been to some where the residents are just doing their own thing. Nobody really cares. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes and I'll update you guys and see what kind of footage we can get. All right, let's head out to this dinner, y'all. I hope there's something good. I hate when I show up and you go to these events and the one thing that I'm at least hoping to get out of it that's always going to be enjoyable is food, but unfortunately, sometimes that's a miss as well. So we'll see. So we're here outside this individual's house. I don't know who it is. Is it a resident or it's an attending? I have no idea who's house this is um for this dinner but there are a few things that you need to know when you show up to a place like this so i am the master at showing up at the right time and leaving at the right time that's something i definitely proud myself on so tip number one is you park relatively far away from the house now you see all these folks here looking for parking and and they're kind of driving around the key is i got a nice little parking spot a little bit away and oh there's somebody that's pulled up behind me so hopefully they're not watching me <laughs> vlog this but so you kind of park a little far away especially if you need to make a nice little getaway um you have a place to go to and then you time it so that you see a couple people go in uh you want to wait till about three-fourths of the people that go in there you kind of just have to eyeball it it's kind of you, you get this with experience so wait till about three-fourths of people go in there kind of follow them in you're part of the crowd you're not kind of a singled out individual um so that's what we're waiting on right now. We're kind of seeing how many people are showing up and going in. It looks like there's a lot of people showing up here. Um, usually, I don't know how many people usually go to these types of things. I have no idea. I usually go to, um, I've only been to a few dinners. So again, these are very still new and interesting to me on how this all works. But uh, yeah, you usually show up, you talk about the same kind of stuff. Where are you from? What are you interested in? Um, any questions for residents about the program? So we'll see what this ends up being. Um, and then uh, a lot of smiling. So we had to make a little geometry stuff. So guys, dinner wasn't what I expected it to be. It was like chicken skewers with like these cupcakes and these little cheese circles. So made a little Jamba Juice stop, uh, which is five minutes away from the hotel. Uh, you know, just get some sustenance, you know, it's not bad. It's uh, got some whey in it So uh, Dinner was alright. It was at somebody's home this time. Usually it's in like a restaurant um, So in someone's home, it was really nice really homely um, Really nice residents uh, Got some good information on the program. So very excited to interview tomorrow actually and actually check the program out um, Yeah, really exciting stuff. Let's head back to the hotel. So before we headed back to the hotel. I saw this and if this is something that everybody knows about and I'm just really stupid about it, I'm really sorry. But I had to stop by and just check this out because it looks beautiful. Let me show you guys. So good morning folks, we are ready to go to the interview today, uh, I have to be there at 7.45, it is currently 7 something so we should probably be heading out right now, um, again I don't know how much of the interview day itself, unfortunately I can show you, I'm sure I can snap something today though during maybe the tour. So now we go on to the actual interview part and this is the part I actually like best. Uh, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with interviewing. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, sometimes you get interesting questions. But one thing I have to say is I think the days do drag on a little too long and they take you to like two o'clock when you totally don't need to. You can be done pretty early. So we just checked out of the hotel. Let's head over to the interview itself. I had to put this jacket on for a little bit because it is freezing out here. I think we're running a little late. Shoot.
So today's program surprised me quite a bit. I found it to be an amazing program actually. Residents were all happy. The program, uh, you know, amenity wise, like buildings and things like that was amazing. Uh, fellowship opportunities were all there. So kind of the things I look at uh, uh, for a program, um, are the residents happy? Uh, is it a place I would love to live at? Is it a place I'm gonna get really good training at? So today's program hit all those things and a lot of programs I've been going to have been really solid. So it's gonna be a very tough decision when it comes time to rank them. Um, but for now guys, that's gonna end this vlog. I got a long drive to get started. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next one.